Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another American Reacts. We're looking at the top 10 actors you never knew were Australian. You know, worldwide actors, probably uh, Hollywood American actors have been in some famous movies that we never knew were Australian. So this is from Top 10 Beyond the Screen. And uh, I usually don't get to credit people because I get so many comments, but this was a recent one and it was just perfect timing, wanted to do it. So this comment comes from uh, I Could Be Psycho, uh, comments a lot on my channel. So thank you to you for the great suggestion. Uh, it's rare I get to thank a specific person. Remember, this will be linked in the description down below so you can watch the original version uninterrupted. But yeah, without further ado, let's check out this list and uh, see how many I knew and didn't know and you do the same. Here we go. Australia is known for its beautiful beaches, outback, and of course, overly large and poisonous animals. However, that's not <laughs> the only thing. Australia is also known for producing some of the greatest actors of our generation, with them that's nailing true. any accent really or dialect is. they're required to do. Yet, yeah, a lot of people don't know these actors are in fact Aussies. However, I'm here to out them all. So to you know, that's very interesting right off the bat. Like she said, a lot of uh, great, you know, British actors, Aussie actors, uh, ha have really convinced millions of people um, that they were an American character. And I think that's very hard to do for anyone. If you're any one of those three and you try to emulate another accent, it's very hard. Uh, so I could not pass as an Aussie uh, just like this. I could not pass at a, as a British bloke just like this or Scottish or, or anything, right? Like every accent is unique and it's pretty hard. And I have heard that technical standpoint uh, American accents, because we have multiple American accents, of course, too, but even just like a generic, you know, Midwest American accent, I've heard is pretty hard if you didn't grow up talking like that. So, so yeah, it does kind of point to uh, how impressive it is uh, when an Australian actor can step into a American movie and blend in, so to say. It's, it's pretty cool. Today on Top 10 Beyond the Screen, I'm going to be counting down our list of the top 10 actors you never knew were Australian. Before we begin though, be sure to stick around until the end of the video where I'll be responding to some of your comments. Let's jump in. Coming in at 10, Hugh Jackman. I mean, oh. of course he's on our list. While most at this yeah, point may know obvious. this actor doesn't hail from the States, some younger <laughs> viewers may not. Look, you're going to strip with this. That's true. Plating flakes off. Yeah. You know, this is the least. No one's going to pay to ride. Star of X-Men, Les Miserables, <laughs> Greatest Showman, and Prisoners, Hugh Jackman was actually born and raised in New South Wales, Australia, nice. appearing early on in his... Yeah, that one I totally knew. He is just an awesome actor. Uh, he's totally ripped in, like, the Wolverine movies, and he's, he's really good. Every movie I've seen with him was enjoyable uh seems like a really cool guy career He's in shows cool. such as corelli and snowy river before landing his breakout role in 2000s x-men as logan aka wolverine after that his career well and truly took off with the actor being one of the most sought after in the industry appearing in works such as van helsing the prestige and the front runner it took years for folks to learn that this actor was an aussie with his american mm. accent being better than most americans don't fight me on that coming in at nine <laughs> jason clark jason clark is an incredibly okay. versatile actor with roles in films such as Mudbound, Everest, that. Zero Dark Thirty, Pet Cemetery, and First Man. That's definitely not Boston. Here we go. Okay, so what do you think? In dialects, many don't even realize that this actor hails from Queensland, Australia. That's crazy. Jason began his career in his mid-twenties, appearing in TV shows such as War. That, that clip they showed, like, he totally seems like an American dude. That was wild. Water Rats and Blue Healers, before landing a reoccurring role on the popular soap opera Home and Away. His big international break was when he landed a role alongside Shia LaBeouf and Michael Douglas in Wall Street Money Never Sleeps, before going on to appear in Lawless, Texas Killing Fields, and Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. This dude just doesn't stop. Coming in at <laughs> 8, Emily de Raven. This is our appetizer. She's supposed to be back. She's not back. Oh, what am I now, one of your suspects? You act like one. My dad needs to take care of people. He just doesn't know what's going on right now. What's going on right now? Emily DeRaven has popped mm. up in many smash hits over the years, mostly opting for smaller indie roles, but once in a while landing a- Yeah, I'll be honest. This video will suck if I don't know who the actors are. I watch a lot of movies just as much as the next guy, but I'm not like a film connoisseur. Uh, I don't, you know, know every line from every movie ever and i haven't seen even some famous movies so yeah i'm not sure uh we'll see what she's been in i don't recognize her <laughs> but her clip there 
She sounded like an American girl, so that was pretty he crazy. He rolls, but once in a while, landing a big Hollywood gig. DeRaven, of course, shot to fame when she starred as Claire Littleton in Lost, which ran from 2004 to 2010. Oh, Worth a prize at that, she also appeared in the popular TV series Roswell as Tess Harding. Mm. Many still don't know that DeRaven is Australian, with the actress being born and raised in Mount Eliza, Victoria. However, she wow. didn't always want to be an actress. When she was 15, she was accepted at the highly selective Australian Ballet School in Melbourne before dropping out and undertaking acting and landing her first role in the TV series Beastmaster. As of now, you won't find a Raven in much, with the star just last year rapping on Once Upon a Time. However, she does have one TV movie in the works called Scorned, which is set to be released next year. Coming in at 7, Joel Edgerton. I didn't even know she was sick. Joel Edgerton is a highly sought after actor crazy. these days with a career that ranges from comedy, drama, horror to full scale action films. With the actor appearing in works such as The Gift, The Great Gatsby, Red Sparrow, It Comes at Night, and Midnight Special. However, little did some fans know, Joel Edgerton was born and raised in New South Wales, Australia. Wow, His brother that one Nash I did not is know. also in the industry, but as a stunt coordinator, even being Joel's stunt double on a handful of films, including The Great Gatsby, Zero Dark Thirty, and The Night We Called It a Day. Joel attended the Nepean Drama School in 1994 with the actor finally break into the industry in 2001 when he starred in the Australian TV series The Secret Life of Us oh, before landing no his kidding. big international break in Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones playing Owen Lars. Coming in at 6, yeah, Dominic Purcell. Born in England and raised in Australia, this Legends of Tomorrow star shocked everyone when it was revealed that he was in fact an Aussie. The Harvey Oswald, John Wilkes Booth, Lincoln Burroughs. I'm gonna go down in history with these freaks. This actor shot to fame when he appeared in Fox's hit 2005 TV series Prison Break, with the actor playing yeah, a wrongly convicted I... prisoner on death row. However, definitely didn't watch that regularly. Maybe saw a couple episodes like after football games or something like that. Uh, but I recognize him from that. And again, no idea. The most no well known idea, from the Aussie. CW show Legends of Tomorrow, in which this Aussie plays criminal arsonist Heatwave. When growing up in Australia, Purcell lived a very blue collar lifestyle and turned to a life of acting after growing bored of landscaping. Following which time he enrolled in the Western Australia Academy of Performing Arts, with the actor being a classmate of fellow actor Hugh Jackman. Well, he wow. clearly picked up some good tricks at That's school crazy. because the actor masks his Aussie accent incredibly well to the point yeah. that it still shocks some longtime fans when they hear him speak in his native accent. Coming in at five, Rose Byrne. I'd like to take this opportunity to honor no way. Me and Doug with a short poem I penned while sitting on a swing in an exclusive resort in Talafaniki. The secret Aussie rose to fame back in 2004 when she was cast in Troy alongside Brad Pitt, before going on to star in 28 Weeks Later, Bridesmaids, X-Men, and of course Insidious. Aside from Neighbors, you'll never find Rose Byrne speaking in a native accent on screen, with the actress mostly doing American or English accents, and yeah. nailing both of them time and time again. However, little did we know she that's impressive. She can talk Australian because she is Australian. <laughs> and she can nail an American and a British accent. That is like wild. Wow. She was actually born in Sydney, New South Wales, with the actress no making way. it big down under before relocating to the States and hitting the big leagues in Hollywood. As it stands, this Aussie is currently filming the TV series Mrs. America, where she plays Gloria Steinem, a real life American feminist, journalist, and social political activist. So, That's of course, wild. they turn to an Aussie to get the job done. Coming in at four, Nicole Kidman. <laughs> kind of ironic, huh? This one I knew. I think a lot of people know Nicole Everywhere Kidman is. I am attended by doctors who inform me of my Aussie. own interests. Academy Award winning actress Nicole Kidman has yeah. been in the entertainment industry since she was a teenager, appearing That's in wild. films such as Moulin Rouge, The Hours, for which she earned the Academy Award, Cold Mountain, and The Others. However, many still don't know that this starlet is actually Australian. However, she was born in Hawaii to Aussie parents before moving down under once again. Her first film no, was one of my that. personal favorites, BMX Bandits, before hitting the big leagues in the States, starring in Days of Thunder, Far and Away, and To Die For. Famous. She's one of those actors that have just so many different looks. So many different, you know, hairstyles and clothing styles and colors and, and everything, right? Like pulled off so many different looks, but you still know it's her kind of deal. Yeah, it's interesting. Obviously, the actress married Tom Cruise, with the yeah. pair sharing two children together before they parted ways in 2002. Nicole <laughs> is now appearing in the popular HBO series Big Little Lies alongside some other heavyweight actresses, including Reese Witherspoon, Laura Dern, Shailene Woodley, Zoe Kravitz, and Meryl Streep. And in wow, more recent news, it has been crew. confirmed that she will be starring in the new Ryan Murphy film The Prom, alongside Meryl Streep, Ariana Grande, and James Corden. The film is set to be released in 2020. Coming in at three, Travis oh, wow. 
Fimmel. Oh, oh. Ragnar Lothbrok. <laughs> Gone too soon. Travis Fimmel played the beloved character on Vikings for four seasons, with I few know fans knowing that he actually hails from Victoria, Australia. The actor hmm. first hit our screens back in 2003 when he appeared in the Tarzan TV series, before going on to star in Vikings, Warcraft, and Maggie's Plan. I always knew in my heart that I would see you again. Far and Away Vikings is his most notable performance, with the actor absolutely slaying the somewhat Old Norse slash Swedish accent. The Aussie star was That's raised crazy. on a 5,500 acre dairy farm back in Lockington, Victoria, before moving to London and then onto the States. As wow, it stands, he's, he's set to appear in an untitled television series about Wyatt Earp, where he will of course be playing the American frontiersman. Another accent I'm sure he'll absolutely nail. Coming in at two, Kate Blanchett. Ah, yes, great that Kate. Was, this yes. one I knew. There are no accidents, and no explanation I offer will satisfy you. I like that. Best known for her roles in Carol, Blue Jasmine, Lord of the Rings, and The Aviator. Did you know yeah. the successful actress was actually born in Melbourne back in 1969? The actress made it big back in the 90s. You know, I don't really know where I've heard it, maybe just on the news somewhere, but I... I did know that she was Australian, but I feel like she's really famous, uh, obviously over here in the States. Would guess that's one that some people might not know that she's Australian. When she appeared I in the TV know. miniseries <laughs> Heartland, Elizabeth, the talented Mr. Ripley, and yeah. Babel. She has over 70 credits to her name and has been nominated for six Academy Awards, wow. winning two for Blue Jasmine and The Aviator. It's hard to tell that this actress hails that's from Down resume. Under, with the star nailing every single accent she is required to do for a role, mm -hmm. particularly the English accents. With Lord of the Rings and No on a scandal being some of her best performances. Honestly, guys, great Kate can do yeah, no wrong, and if yeah, you haven't seen Carol yet, English do it. It's one of well. the greatest <laughs> films to be made in the last decade. Honestly, I made this list just so I could talk about Carol. And finally, coming in at number one, Margot Robbie. Yeah. Daddy shouldn't waste his time. Again, super ultra famous, especially in the 2010s, like just the last 10 years. Uh, honestly, like superstar status, like one of the most famous actors, in my opinion, uh, in recent memory. Again, when I first started seeing her in movies, had no idea she was Australian. Later learned it on one of those, you know, entertainment news things, uh, shows. And I remember hearing, oh, Margot Robbie from Australia. And I used to think, like, is that right? Are they talking about someone else? That one was pretty shocking to me. But yeah, that one I do know now. Uh, but a lot of people probably still don't realize. Time. And from now on, it's going to be nothing but short short skirts around the house. Now, unless you were paying attention to <laughs> Margot Robbie's Street, brief cameo movie. appearance in The Big Short, then you might not be aware that she actually hails from Queensland, Australia, born in 1990. Yep, this actress is just wow. three years older than me, and I'm well and truly triggered. She made me. her big break on Australian television when she landed the role of Donna Brown in the long-running series Neighbours before heading to the States to star in the short-lived series Pan Am. However, the film that gave her the biggest break was The Wolf of Wall yeah. Street, where she absolutely nailed the Brooklyn accent. This was perhaps the first film folks saw yeah, her in, which Brooklyn only added accent. more confusion. That's not only an American accent, that's a, a very specific, I think, hard American accent. Uh, hard as in, you can try it, but it sounds funny. Like, to try it in not a joking way, but in a serious way, is, is pretty tough to get correct. This break was The Wolf of Wall Street, where she absolutely nailed the Brooklyn accent. This was perhaps the first film folks saw her in, which only added more confusion when they discovered she wasn't in fact American. For the most part, you'll <laughs> never find Margot doing her native accent in a film, aside from the aforementioned Big Shaw. With the actress appearing in Suicide Squad, I, Tonya, Mary Queen of Scots, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, all of which she either did an American accent or an English one. As it stands, she has been nominated for just one Oscar, but I can only predict there will mm. be more coming. Yeah, well, there we have it. Like Do you guys agree with uh, our list? Were there any Aussie her? that we missed also be sure to leave us a comment down below with what country you want us to tackle next we that was a good one uh that is from uh, top 10 beyond the screen remember to check that out this will be linked in the description box down below so you can rewatch it if you wish what did you think of that list there were i'd say two or three that i didn't know much about or didn't you know know anything about uh i'd say two or three that i knew about and knew that they were an aussie and two or three that <laughs> I knew about but didn't know they were Aussie. So it was a pretty mixed bag for me, uh, but very entertaining. Again, great suggestion uh, from one of our viewers. So thank you guys as always. You know, with that being said, if you would like to suggest a video, always check out our Discord, uh, check out the comment section. Just leave me one there somewhere. I will see it, I will get to it. And uh, make sure to comment down below 
what you thought of this list. How many did you know about? Uh, if you're from Australia, which a lot of you viewing will be, uh, maybe you knew about all these. Uh, maybe you didn't. And for all my Aussie viewers out there, have you tried an American accent just for fun? That would be uh, interesting, right? I I've tried an Australian accent in a past video a long time ago. I'm not going to tell you which one. You'll have to search for it. And uh, it is hard. It is hard. It it'd be funny. It'd make you laugh. Uh, but it wouldn't be passable. I could definitely not star, at least right now, as a uh, uh, head actor or a front runner in an Aussie movie. I would, I would blow my cover immediately. <laughs> but yeah, with that being said, guys, throw a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it or maybe learned something new. Subscribe for more things like this. Check out that description for this original video and other ways you can support my channel. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. Until next time, guys, take care and I'll catch you later.